Hello, welcome to the PARS Health TV channel. We hope you're having a good day and you are happy and healthy. In this channel, we give you tips to keep you healthy and out of trouble. In this video, we want to talk about what metabolism is. This video is for educational purposes only and if you have any specific condition or illness, you should consult with your doctor. What is metabolism? Metabolism is the term for a set of chemical reactions that occur in the cells of living organisms to sustain life. The metabolic processes lead to growth and reproduction and allow living organisms to maintain their structures and respond to the surrounding environment. All chemical reactions that occur in living organisms, from digestion to the transport of substances from cell to cell, can be part of metabolism. Intermediary or intermediate metabolism is the term for the transport of substances into and between different cells. Metabolism can be conveniently divided into two categories. Catabolism the breakdown of molecules to obtain energy. Anabolism, the synthesis of all compounds needed by the cells. Metabolism is closely linked to nutrition and the availability of nutrients. Bioenergetics is a term that describes the biochemical or metabolic pathways by which the cell ultimately obtains energy. Energy formation is one of the vital components of metabolism. You've probably heard people blame their weight on a slow metabolism, but what does that mean? Is metabolism the culprit? And if so, is it possible to rev up your metabolism to burn more calories? Metabolism is indeed linked to weight. But contrary to common belief, slow metabolism is rarely the cause of excess weight gain. Although your metabolism influences your body's basic energy needs, how much you eat and drink along with how much physical activity you get are the things that ultimately determine your weight. If you like topics like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to see daily videos just like this one. Alright, let's get started. Factors that affect our basal metabolic rate, BMR. Your BMR is influenced by multiple factors working in combination, including body size. Larger adult bodies have more metabolizing tissue and a larger BMR. Amount of lean muscle tissue. Muscle burns kilojoules rapidly. Amount of body fat. Fat cells are sluggish and burn far fewer kilojoules than most other tissues and organs of the body. Crash dieting, starving, or fasting, Eating too few kilojoules encourages the body to slow the metabolism to conserve energy. BMR can drop by up to 15%, and if lean muscle tissue is also lost, this further reduces BMR. Age Metabolism slows with age due to loss of muscle tissue, but also due to hormonal and neurological changes. Growth Infants and children have higher energy demands per unit of body weight due to the energy demands of growth, and the extra energy needed to maintain their body temperature. Gender Generally, Men have faster metabolisms because they tend to be larger. Genetic predisposition. Your metabolic rate may be partly decided by your genes. Hormonal and nervous controls. BMR is controlled by the nervous and hormonal systems. Hormonal imbalances can influence how quickly or slowly the body burns kilojoules. Environmental temperature. If the temperature is very low or very high, the body has to work harder to maintain its normal body temperature, which increases the BMR. Infection or illness BMR increases because the body has to work harder to build new tissues and to create an immune response. Amount of physical activity Hard-working muscles need plenty of energy to burn. Regular exercise increases muscle mass and teaches the body to burn kilojoules at a faster rate, even when at rest. Drugs, like caffeine or nicotine, can increase the BMR. Dietary deficiencies For example, a diet low in iodine reduces thyroid function and slows metabolism. Metabolism and weight. It may be tempting to blame your metabolism for weight gain. But because metabolism is a natural process, your body has many mechanisms that regulate it to meet your individual needs. Only in rare cases, you get excessive weight gain from a medical problem that slows metabolism, such as Cushing syndrome or having an underactive thyroid gland, hypothyroidism. Unfortunately, Weight gain is a complicated process. It's likely a combination of genetic makeup, hormonal controls, diet composition, and the impact of the environment on your lifestyle, including sleep, physical activity, and stress. All of these factors result in an imbalance in the energy equation. You gain weight when you eat more calories than you burn, or burn fewer calories than you eat. While it is true that some people seem to be able to lose weight more quickly and more easily than others, everyone loses weight when they burn up more calories than they eat. To lose weight, you need to create an energy deficit by eating fewer calories or increasing the number of calories you burn through physical activity or both. 
Do some people have a faster metabolism than others? Body size, age, gender, and genes all play a role in the speed of your metabolism. Muscle cells require more energy to maintain than fat cells, so people with more muscle than fat tend to have a faster metabolism. As we get older, we tend to gain fat and lose muscle. This explains why your metabolism may slow down as you get older. In general, men tend to have a faster metabolism because they have more muscle mass, heavier bones, and less body fat than women. Your metabolism may be partly determined by your genes, although this is not yet fully understood. Genes play a role in muscle size and your ability to grow muscles, both of which affect your metabolism. What can I do to speed up my metabolism? It's claimed that certain foods and drinks can boost your metabolism, including green tea, black coffee, spices, and energy drinks. The evidence behind these claims is weak, or they are not effective long-term solutions. While you do not have much control over the speed of your metabolism, you can control how many calories you burn through your level of physical activity. The more active you are, the more calories you burn. Some people who are said to have a fast metabolism are probably just more active, and maybe more fidgety, than others. How can I change my metabolism to lose weight? There are some things that you can change about your metabolism and some things that you can. For example, you can't change your age or your gender. But there are some things that you can change to boost your metabolism and lose weight. These include Exercise You burn more calories when you exercise. Even an easy workout increases your metabolism. Harder workouts burn more calories. Daily movement No time to exercise Move more during the day. Increasing daily movement is the best way to boost your metabolism. Simple daily tasks like walking, climbing stairs, gardening, and housework require your body to work harder and burn more calories. Added muscle. You can improve your body composition to burn more calories. Do strength training exercises to build muscle and burn more calories even when your body is resting. Eat the right number of calories. Eating too many calories can cause weight gain but eating too few calories can cause your metabolism to slow down. Make sure you're eating enough calories to maintain a healthy metabolism. Your metabolism will change slightly from day to day. But if you can learn how to manage and maintain a healthy metabolism regularly, weight loss and weight maintenance will be easier. Metabolism, the sum of the chemical reactions that take place within each cell of a living organism, and that provide energy for vital processes, and for synthesizing new organic material. Metabolism is a combination of biochemical processes that your body uses to convert food into energy. These metabolic processes include breathing, eating, and digesting food, the delivery of nutrients to your cells through the blood, the use of energy by your muscles, nerves, and cells, and finally the elimination of waste products from your body. If you are interested in videos like this, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We hope you have a wonderful day. See you in the next video.